babies, welcome back to Stop Up Even One to One. Today is going to be episode 11. Yes, 11 of Life as a Young Mother. Um, just a quick update. Uh, my daughter has like grown so much. And I'm so scared she's turning one next month. I don't know if scared is the right word. I'm just kind of nervous. Like, you know, a year ago I was like going into labor like next month, obviously. But like, you know, it's crazy. Anywho, um, some updates with her. She's on solid foods now. She drinks two bottles of porridge every day, one in the morning, one at night. She drinks, drinks. She eats chicken, um, lots of vegetables. I started her on some rice. I even started her on some pasta as well. Um, I feel like I need to up her protein intake, so I'm going to be working on some meals that I can make for her. And I'll even try and record them for you guys, um, like the recipes I come up with and stuff. What else? She's wearing size 12 months, um, 12 to 18 sometimes, depending on what the brand is and what it is. What else is she doing? She's crawling on her knees. She's standing up by herself. She's just doing it. She's doing so well. I'm so proud of her. She does have some serious like diaper rash, and I was originally using one um, medication, and then they put her on a higher one. I'm not sure why it's happening. And it's kind of frustrating me, but I'm just kind of hoping it's going away. Now I put diaper cream on her every single time I change her, and I change her like super often because I don't want her to be always irritated. What else is new? Hmm. She can say dada. She can't say mama. But she can say dada. Um, she likes to try and stand up by herself. She likes to lean up against stuff. So like she would lean up against like the leg of the chair to stand up. What else does she do? I think that's about it. For me, I think I've gotten a lot more used to being mom, like the mom. Um, my biggest issue is like keeping things organized because my daughter goes into everything. So I feel like once I move out and have my own place, I can have like a designated area in our place for her to play and be able to make mess and like all that and I can just clean it up at the end of the day. But for right now, she will like tip over the garbage can, you know, throw her blocks all over the floor. I have a shoe rack in my room and she will pull the shoes down. Like every day I have to clean up these mess, like these three areas and sometimes more, like more than like four times a day because she likes to touch everything. So I'm not too like obviously upset about it, but I know she's like in her stage where she's just like exploring everything still putting stuff in her mouth she hasn't got grown that much hair yet um but i do see her hair getting a bit thicker and it's full like pulling out a bit more like it's not as patchy anymore um the back is more like i guess like a bit drier and a bit more coarse whereas her top and the front like the front and the top is a bit more like coolie i have coolie on my family side and so does my boyfriend so you know i kind of see why um, but yeah, I hear when babies, because I was the same way, when babies don't have a lot of hair when they're first born, um, when they grow, like the hair grows crazy. And I had some seriously long hair when I was younger, so I'm kind of looking forward to that, to that. Plus, I had so much heartburn while I was pregnant, so it should be worth it, hopefully. Anyways, that's all I have to say for today, guys. Please give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my last episode which will be next month that's crazy i'll probably like include some pictures of my daughter because i plan to do like a photo shoot for her and everything i'll probably include some pictures in the next um episode but thank you so much for um being with me on this journey as i talk about my daughter and our growth as a family um thank you so much for enjoying these episodes if you did like i said please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next one bye guys